Hello, my name is Alvin Atkinson and welcome to the Jazz Academy. Today I'll be playing the drums and on the bass we have Mr. Ari Rowland and on the guitar we have Mr. James Shirillo. Today we're going to talk about playing as a rhythm section and how we all connect while we're playing. So let's start off with the blues. One, two, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> Now you may have noticed when I'm playing, I'm always trying to stay visually connected and musically connected with the bass and the guitar. I'm always thinking of connecting my ride cymbal with the bass player's right hand. I call it real time. And the same with the guitar. Let's just play for like maybe four measures and see if everyone can hear that pulse together. One, two, a one, two, three, four. So that's why I like to look and have that interaction. James, can you tell me something? What are you looking for when you're playing with a rhythm section? Exactly what Alvin just said about his ride cymbal, I'm laying for that too. Every time he hits that thing, sometimes it's a little bit more of a ting, a little bit more of a splash. He mixes that up sometimes, even though that quarter note is even. And that helps tell me exactly the kind of stroke I'm going to put on my notes. So I'm not constantly doing exactly the same length note, just like he mixes it up, I mix it up. And I'm always listening to the bass, because maybe as his line goes up, I'll do something that harmonizes well with that with my inside tenor voice. So just between our two lines, you hear the whole chord, and I'm locked right in with uh, Alvin's cymbal beat. Now the groove that you just heard us play, with all of us focusing on that quarter note, that's the groove you would hear in the classic All-American Big Band. In a small group, it would vary a little. Maybe one or two of us would keep that pulse, but it would allow one of us at any time to vary the rhythm. Now James, I notice you're playing an acoustic guitar. Is this something you would use in every setting? No. Uh the acoustic guitar lends itself to big band playing because with the higher action string, you get a much louder punch, much more amplitude to your note. And you're really able to nail that punch of that quarter note. What that does, it just helps center the beat all the way through the band. So when I was playing, you noticed that I was, would do things with my left hand. I'm thinking about what the big band would play a whole section. Can we just play a chorus of the blues? Sure. And I'm just going to sing along while I'm playing to kind of emulate what the big band sections would do. One, two, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> So I'm thinking about the whole big band. So what I'm doing with my left hand could be an entire section of the ensemble. It could be the trumpet section, saxophone section. Now let's try a version of us playing in a small group. And in a small group, we have a little more room to vary the rhythm, but still keeping focus with that pulse. James, would you like to be the lead on this? All righty. One, two, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> So you would notice that I'm playing a little bit more rhythm because I'm not having to hold an entire big band. It's a smaller group, so it allows us more interplay. We even had a little call and response. Going. That's right. 
Which is as it should be. <laughs> Absolutely. So this is playing with the rhythm section and connecting and having a dialogue together. My name is Alvin Agatson. This is Ari Rowland on the bass, James Cirillo on guitar. Catch you next time.